All right. Hello, mates. This is uh, Dr. Gorgonzola, and today I'm going to teach you how to figure out what the area of a triangle on a sphere is. You got your sphere, right? And you got this triangle here. And you're thinking like, all right, I want to find the area like in here, right? It's like easy enough on a plane. You just do uh, whatever. Freaking height times base over two, right? It's got to be something like that. Nope, it's not. Um, so you got to do some weird stuff. So what you want to think of is these are geodesics, right? These lines curve and wrap all the way around the sphere so they would go like like back up around to where they started. Same with these and same with these. So this isn't necessarily the best view of it, but you can see what I mean. And I don't like the way these mess with me, so I'm gonna erase those. But okay, so you wanna find this. So we're gonna use a trick uh, using these things called loons which I don't even know what those were until someone explained. But basically, it's as if you're taking a slice out of the sphere. So, you have your sphere here, and you're taking, like, a slice out of it, right? Kind of like a slice of cantaloupe. And, oh man, I can't really draw things three-dimensionally. Here's a basketball for visual. So, you know, it's kind of like you take this slice the black part and leave all the rest of it. and you just want the volume or the in this case the surface area of that so we're going to take the area of this loon right here which if you think about it curves all the okay yeah so we're going to take this loon and then we're also going to take the one opposite of it on the opposite side so this loon okay so this loon plus this loon. Then, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going well, guys, I'm sorry. Then we're going to take the area of this loon plus that one. So this one and the one opposite it. And finally, the area of this this loon and the one opposite it, right? Did you get the picture? Literally, haha. -ha. Um, so there you go. You have these three loons, which is kind of like if you took one slice and the opposite side, one slice, opposite side, and then another slice and the opposite side. Okay. So, so you have uh, this one, this one, this one. But you can see is this area of these loons covers the area of the entire sphere. And area of a sphere is what from probably back in high school or middle school even 4 pi r squared right area of a sphere okay and so what we have going on here is we have the area of the entire sphere but we also have more than that so when we took the first loon we got one of these triangles and we took the second loon, we got another one of these triangles, and the third one, we got another one of these triangles. So really what we have is the area of the sphere plus two areas of our triangle that we're trying to find, this one right here. But that's not the end of it. You also have, if you were to flip this sphere over, like so, you would also have like the exact same size triangle on the opposite side of the sphere. So really, it's not two areas of the triangle, it's actually four, because you get two here and two there. So anyway, so this is what you get when you add up the three areas of the loons, okay? Now, final piece here. Well, there's not the final one, but we're getting there. Sorry. Uh, area of a loon is going to be equal to 4 times the angle, like, 
if we take this loon here, then this is the angle we're talking about. 4 times the angle r squared, because it's like 4 pi r squared, but we're not having pi, you know, we're not having this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle, like which would be 90. Instead, we have alpha, or an angle. angle. And so we're going to need three of these, so let's call the angle of this loon alpha. Let's call this one beta. Let's call this one gamma. All right. So we're going to have 4 times alpha r squared plus 4 times beta r squared plus 4 times gamma r squared. It's going to be equal to 3 of our areas of our loons. All right. Then what have we got? So we're going to set that in our equation right here. So we got this is equal to the area of the sphere plus four areas of the triangle. All right. So I'm going to take that equation, r squared minus the area of the sphere equals four times the area of the triangle. Okay, now we can simplify this into saying this is 4 times alpha plus beta plus gamma minus pi r squared, because area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared pi, alright, uh, equals for our triangle, area triangle squared, or frick, 4 times the area of the triangle there. We can just divide out these 4s, and we get area of our triangle is this right here. So there's your answer. Anyway, hope you guys learned something. Dr. Gorgonzola signing off. Bye.